Hi, I'm Kimberly. Welcome to Combat Boot Camp Surge. We have an amazing workout planned for you today. Hang out with me today to give you that great workout. We've got Holly and we've got Dana. So if you're ready, we're ready. We're just going to march it out. Right foot, it's right. First things first, we've got to get the blood flowing. So pick those feet up, pump the arms a little bit. Beautiful job. Want a strong start, straight to a strong end. Take it to a step touch, right, left. Take it right and left. First things first, start to lower your profile by bending the knees. Hinge forward slightly at the hips. Draw the core in right away. I want you to keep that core engaged the entire time. Now with the arms, reach and pull right here. We got to reach and pull. As you reach and pull, think about focusing on the upper back, pulling the arms back behind you, squeezing shoulder blades together, opening up the shoulders, lengthening the chest. Beautiful job. Reach and pull four more. It's four, three now. Tap those toes out wide, reach overhead, left, right. Up, back to the step touch, right here. Up. Beautiful, wide toe tap, right here. Big steps. Now hold this toe tap, a little squat in between. Down up, big reach. I want you to reach for the ceiling. Up, up, and every time you reach, pick the rib cage up, off the hip, lengthen through the side of the body. Now take that reach, instead of diagonal, straight overhead, straight up, down up, four, and three, now hands to the thigh, spinal stretch, down. Round it up, do that again right here, take it down. Ah. Two more times, releasing the lower back as you come up. Full body workout plan today, slide the right foot in, step touch, reach. Wide toe taps, up, up. Reach straight to the ceiling, spinal stretch, take it down. Up, do it again right here, ah. Release as you come up. Two more. One more time. Here we go. Take it down. Slide the right foot in. Put it all together. Step, touch, reach. Wide toe tap, reach overhead. Diagonal. Now straight up. Spinal stretch. Down. One more time. Just like that. Down. Slide in. Step, touch. Reach and pull. Tap it out. Reach overhead. Straight up. Spinal stretch. Down. One more time, just like that. Slide in right, step, touch, go. And reach overhead right here, take it up. Straight up, and a spinal stretch, I need two of them. One more time, slide the right foot in. Just step, touch, nicely done. Take your step, touch, and start to turn it to the right. Start to lead with the left hip driving forward. Beautiful, we're gonna reach pull here. Now pick that left knee up right here. So the left knee is gonna come up toward the diagonal of the room that you're in. Slight lean back with a core engaged, four. Three, now we're gonna take that knee and we're gonna circle it around to wake that left hip up. Circle that knee around, bring it around. And again, just a little easy crescent chamber kick. Just in case we might throw some kicks up today. Two more. Take it back to the knee, knee up. Drive with the knee. Slight lean back, core engaged. Beautiful. Four more, here's four, up. And three, two. Take it back to the step touch right here. Nice. Now repeat our knee for two. Step touch and hold. Fancy switch. Take this turn now to the left side. Start to lead with the right hip. And the right knee pops up. Core engaged, slight lean back. We're just waking that right hip up now. I need four more here. Your knee's coming straight up to the diagonal of the room. Up, up. Now, crescent chamber, open that hip up, bring it around. There we go. If you want to let out a little ah, go ahead. Four more, ladies, how we doing? Doing good? Warming up a bit, two more. Now back to the knee, knee to the corner. Well done, two more. And step touch right here, hold. Awesome job, double knee, two knees. Step touch, wide toe taps here. Give me a little reach overhead, left and right, reach up. Now as you reach up, circle back right here. Ah. Just in case, we may use the upper body a bit, shoulders specifically, we wanna wake them up as well. Now take the tap side to side away, hold center. Up, up, circling back, lengthening through the chest. 
lengthening through the front of the shoulder. Four. And three. Two. Let's go for two more spinal stretches right here. Down. Up. One more time. Slide the right foot in. Just march it out. All right, let's get to some business. Real hardcore business with cardio kickboxing. No equipment necessary, just your fabulous self. Here we go. Take it to the step, touch. Right, left. Take it right and left. First things first, reach up, grab some energy, and pull it in. Your target first is on the right, so let's take everything to the right. Hands are always between you and the target. Take it to a double step, two steps right. Take it back to the left. Now I want you to use as much room as you have to play with here. You have an option. You can stay with the double step and just kind of play with that. Or I'm just going to make it a step, step, roundhouse right here. Step, step, roundhouse. Double step goes back. Step, step, roundhouse. Double step goes back. Now that roundhouse can be as high as what feels comfortable for you. Generally, waist high or lower is going to keep it pretty comfortable for the low back. And only lean left as far as you have to. Now again, you can stay with that double step to the left. Or I'm just going to add a step, step, round house. So step, step, kick, step, step, shin, shin. Step, step, kick, step, step, shin. Double shin block right there. Up. Shin. Now when you do your shin block, make sure you're picking hip up, rib cage drops down. Crunch. You get an oblique crunch. That's a bonus just for you. Beautiful job. Come on, stay with it. Two more, just like that. A little change coming your way. It's going to be one shin block, one cross, and then we go straight into rotation. Ready, shin cross, rotate left, right. Hold, hold, core engage. Right here, up. Now rotate for two. Now duck, right to left. Rotate, duck, right to left. Rotate, duck, right to left. Rotate, duck, slide in. Step touch, left. Now your target's gonna be on the left, so move those hands to the left. We're just building that progression again. Two steps to the left, here we go. Hands always up between you and the target. Keep them up, even if your shoulders are getting tired, you can drop shake, we get right back up. Remember your options, stay with the double step, or next time around, step, step, round house, here we go. Double step back, step, step, round house. Double step back. Your height is your choice. Nobody's walking around with a measuring stick, but you want to keep getting stronger, keep getting more flexible every time. Coming back, you have the option to step, step, double shin right here. Step, step, round house. Double shin block. Again, using whatever room you have, make it work for you. Come on. Up. Well done, come on. Two more. This last one is one shin, one cross. Shin cross, now rotate right, left. There you go. Rotate two. Duck, left, right. Rotate two. Duck. Rotate. Duck, step, step, kick, go. Shin cross. Rotate left. Duck, switch. Step, step, go left. Shin cross. Rotate right, duck left, right, step, step, shin cross, rotate, you know it now, duck, step, step, you've got options for intensity here, rotate, duck, you can add a little jump, here we go, kick, rotate, duck, step, hop, if you like, a little hop, shin, cross, rotate, Duck. Go right. Work this combo. Make it as big as you can. And when you duck, how low can you duck? Get down. Right. Go. Ha. Duck. To the left side. Go. Rotate. Duck. I want one more each way. Go right. Rotate. Big duck. Left. Shin cross. Rotate. Duck. Step touch. Hold. 
Now the little drill coming at you, and then we'll come back and try that one again, because you know it. So clear your mind of it, and we'll come back. Next up is that step, step, round house, followed by two left knees. Ready? Step, step, round house. Hold here, two left knees. Other way. Two right knees. So you're always picking outside leg, inside knee comes up. When the knee comes up, slight lean back. Core engaged. Hands are shifting each time. Hands left. Hands right. Why? Because they're always between you and that target, even if it's an imaginary target. Change on the knee. One front, one side. Shin block. Front side. And again. Kick, shin block. Step, step round house. Kick, shin block. Kick, shin block. Step, step round house. Kick, shin block. Up, kick. You got it. Hup. Add power if you like. Hup. Kick, shin. On the shin block. Next time around, I'm going to challenge you to freeze. Hold balance. Front, freeze. Kick, freeze. Front, freeze. You know it, now let's work it. Hup. Two more. There we go. Step, touch, and hold. How's it going? How are we doing back there? Are we doing so good we want to do both of those again? I knew it. I knew it. Hands up ready. First combo. Step, step, round house. Here we go. Double shin and cross. Rotate. Duck switch. Step left. Shin cross. Rotate. Duck. Step, step, round house. Front kick, shin freeze. Ha. Front kick, shin freeze. Do it again. Back to the top, step, step, round house. Shin cross, rotate two, big duck, other side. Step, step, round house, shin cross, rotate to the right. Big duck right here, step, step, round house with a front kick, shin block, freeze. Right here, freeze, and go again. Front kick, do that one more time each way. Kick, freeze. Kick back to the top. Step, step, round house. Here we go. Shin cross. Rotate left. Big duck. Go left side. Step, step. Rotate. Big duck. Switch. Second part. Step, step, round house. Front kick. Shin freeze. One more time each way. To the right. Take it back to the left. Step touch and hold. Well done. Here we go. We're going to march it out. Go grab that bar. Let's keep it going. All right. So back to cardio kickboxing. Med balls down. All you need is that fabulous body of yours, okay? Start with a step touch. Right, left. Here we go. To the right and the left. So your opponent, your target, is going to be on the right side. Now, I say opponent. I know you're not a violent people. Just use your imagination. Your target could be a Twinkie for all I care. Hands up. We're going to come out wide toe taps. Beautiful. In between the taps, keep those knees bent. Stay soft through the knees. Core engaged. We're going to rotate right, come back center. Come center. Rotate center. Now, as you come back center, slip away from the target like you're ducking back. Rotate, duck. Rotate tall, duck down low. Use your legs. Don't be shy. They are not tired, not yet. Adding on to this, jab, cross, slip. Here we go. Jab, cross, slip away. This starts out our combination for this segment right here. Jab, cross. So for starters, I need two more of these. One more. Now just cross. Left arm comes cross. Four. Now right leg, come up for shin block. Four, four, three. Now just box or shuffle, advance right. Just like that. Jab, cross, slip, let's go. Cross for four. 
Shin block, right leg up. Get that crunch right there. Advance, four. One more time, just like that. Jab, cross, go. Cross, four. Shin block, right knee up. Advance, can we cut that in half? Let's do it. Jab, cross, go. Cross, two. Shin block, two. Advance, two. Jab, cross, slip. Cross. Shin block. Advance. Jab, cross, hit it. Cross for two. Shin block for two. Advance. One more time, just like that. Shin block goes up. Advance. Step, touch, hold. Well done. Hands stay up. You're going to turn that step touch to the right side. We're going to focus now lower body. Core engaged. As you tap the left foot forward, slight lean back. Stay long through the torso. Keep that abdominal wall engaged. It's going to help protect the low back as I want you to slightly lean back. Lead with the left hip. After the left hip is used to coming forward, let the knee start to float up. But remember, the hip is driving, and I promise you, if you get that hip up there, the knee will gladly come along for the ride. So make it a knee, strike to the side. Make sure you got a little space, do a quick little room check. I need a front knee, tap back. Knee, tap back. So it may feel like you're on a little teeter-totter. So engaging the core the entire time. You're fully supported. From here, front kick, tap back. Kick left, tap right. Kick, now it's a snap kick, so keep that toe pointed. Strike with the shoelaces. It's about to get a little more fun. Ladies, you ready? Front, rear kick. Push through the right heel. Push. Push. There you go. Feel the glutes on the right side of the body. Engage here as you push. What I want you to do is pretend like you're pushing a door shut with the right heel. Got to push. Lean forward a bit. Get the glutes in there. Only need four more. Here's four. And three. Two, take it back to the knee strike right here. Ah. Keep the knee strike, but turn to the front so the knee is going to go across the body. Cross knee strike. Nice. So one knee, one rotation now. Knee, rotate. As you rotate, we may as well throw a right cross on there. Boom. Just knee rotate. As you rotate, throw it down. Lunge into that left leg. Back to the knee, cross. Yes, you got it. Just knee rotate. Knee, knee, knee. Step, touch, left, hold. So much fun. Gotta do the other side. Gotta do the other side. Up. Ready position. Same progression. Hands up, ready between you and your target. Let's tap it out. Bend the knees, stay soft, low to the ground. Stable, core engaged. Rotate, come center. Nice. As you come center, slip away from the target. Slip away. Now keep your focus on the target the whole time. Add your jab, cross, slip, jab, cross. Here we go, need two of these. Right arm comes cross for four. Left knee comes out and up, shin block for four. Advance to the left, boxer shuffle, light on the feet, light, light. Jab, cross, slip. Cross, four. Shin block, left leg up. Get the crunch right there, crunch. Advance. Jab, cross, slip, go. Again. Cross. Left knee up, shin block. Advance. Let's cut it in half. Jab, cross, slip. Cross, two. Shin block, two. Advance, two. Do it again, you got it now, you know it. Make it big. Cross, shin block, advance. 
Got four more times. Make them good. Shin block. Advance. Jab cross. Cross. Shin block. Advance. I need two more good ones. Make them strong. Hup, hup. One more time. Advance. Step touch. How's it going? Turning, turning. Start to lean back. Drive the right hip forward. Drive the right hip forward. Hands up. Right knee starts to lift. Are we ready for the glutes on the other side to go to work for us? Keep the abdominal wall engaged. It's a front knee, tap back. Start with the knee, tap back. Get that little teeter-totter going. Making sure you feel solid and supported all the way through the midsection. Here we go. Front kick, tap back. Kick. Tap back. There we go. Don't be shy. Get down, get down, get low. Huh. Here we go. Bonus. Front, rear, kick, hit it. Front, rear. Push through that left heel. Push. Push. Feel the glutes engaged. Left side of the body. Eight more. Give me eight. It's that front snap kick but watch the knee. Careful not to overextend it. Here's four. Three, keep breathing. Two, knee strike now. Well done. Woo! Keep the knee strike coming. Face front, cross the body. Beautiful job, everybody. Knee, rotate. Core engaged, come on. If we play our cards right, not gonna need at the end of this workout to drop down to core. We're doing it the whole time. Throw that cross in, left arm. Back to the rotation now. Now let's throw it down, shall we? Throw it down. Two more. Knee, cross. Knee, rotate. Knee, knee, pick it up. Step, touch, hold. March it out. Beautiful job. Let's keep going, shall we? All right, the hard work is done. Hopefully, you worked hard. I know we did. Got quite a sweat. You guys still sweating a bit? Yeah, so now it's time to bring the body back down, heart rate down, let that sweat start to dry, lengthen the muscles, elongate them back to the natural position and start the recovery process. So shoulders, we're gonna roll back. And again, roll back. Still standing nice and tall, don't let that posture fall on you. Stay tall, roll back. Beautiful, start to pick the elbows up. Full arm. And around again. Start to squat into it now and lift up. Up. And again. Two more. Sit into the hips. I know all you want right now is more squatting, right? Now let's squat, hands to the thighs, round down, spinal stretch. Just come halfway up, just halfway up, release the low back. Back down. Round up. As you come down, straight back, flatten the back, lengthen through the crown of the head. Take it down, round up. Two more, down and up. One more time. Hold the lunge here or squat here. We're gonna lunge, left foot steps back. You've got options, bring the torso up, hands on the thighs, that's option one. Focusing on just pressing through the left hip towards the ground. Hips, knees, toes are all forward. You can always take the option. In fact, I'm gonna have Dana take the option of dropping that left knee down and focus on lengthening through the hip flexors and quadriceps on the left side. Holly and I are gonna stay up on that back toe, straightening out that leg. Now take hands on either side of the right foot. 
Now I'm gonna have Holly stay right there. Final option, walk the right foot out just a bit. Hands come to the inside of the right foot and just let the torso fall just inside of that right thigh. Once you're here, let your head hang for just a few moments, relax. Let's pick the head up, slide the left foot in, slide the weight back to the left leg and sit into the hips, rocking up onto that right heel. Reach out, grab the right heel, gently pull in, stay long through the torso. Inhale, find length. And exhale, lower the chest one inch. Inhale and lower. Feel that hamstring stretch one more time. Inhale. And now drop the toe, round down. Release the back as you round up. Inhale, and step the feet together as you exhale. Shoulders roll back, and the elbows. Full arm, sit into it, drop through the hips, and up. Stay low, hands to the thighs, round up, halfway, back down, lengthen through the crown of the head, up, releasing the lower back. Just two more. One more time. Stay low in the squat. This time we move into the lunge with the left foot forward, right foot steps back. So find that spacing once again, up tall through the torso. Dana's gonna show you dropping that back knee. We're gonna stay up on our toes, Holly and I. But we're gonna start to hinge forward. Remember, you can stay here if you like. Just focus on pressing through that right hip as low as you comfortably can. We're gonna drop down fingertips on each side of the left foot. Holly's gonna hang out there. I'm just gonna walk the left foot out a bit and bring my hands inside of that left foot. And then drop as low as what's comfortable, making sure you're getting a good stretch through both hips and let your head hang. All right, the head's come up. We drag the back foot in. Shift the weight back to that right leg, sit into it, rocking up on the left heel. Reach out, grab the left toes, pull them in gently to get a little calf stretch. Potentially did some jumping today if you took it straight through, so lengthen through those calves. Inhale, exhale, sink deep. Inhale, exhale a little deeper. One more time. Drop the toe, round down. Round up. Inhale, as you exhale, step the feet together. Roll right shoulder back, left shoulder back. Right arm comes up, drops back, tricep stretch. Lengthen through the back of the upper arm and switch sides. Open out to the side, sink down through the hips. Just round the back halfway, release the low back. Lengthen once again and come up nice and tall. Shoulders roll back, elbows pick up. Full arms circle round. Let's take it back down to the elbows. Just the shoulders. One more time, shoulder roll, loosen it up. Inhale, one time, hands come heart center. Exhale. Hands back to heart center and have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.